all right guys back again quick update on how the roof cleaning went today we ended up using I had mixed up 26 gallons we ended up using about 28 gallons I had to throw about two more gallons in there and that's about the amount that you can't quite get off the bottom about two gallons in there so the proportioning valves, I didn't really use them to proportion, I actually just put my surfactant and SH in this tank, and I take that back, in this tank, and this tank had about 15 gallons of water. And I also had my handy little scrub brush, kind of got the scrubbies on the ends and all on a little extension pole like a 12 footer that worked out beautiful for solar panels and I'm sure it work out good for gutters or whatever you might need everything stayed dry looks good I will recommend to cut the uh, this vinyl hose these are a must-have I thought I could get away with, uh, I was actually trying to cut through them with a hacksaw blade, and not so much. <laughs> it really didn't work. These are the only thing i found that I have that will actually cut through here, and make pretty easy work of it. I purchased 10 feet of this 3 quarter inch vinyl flex hose, suction hose. And you can see I used every bit of it, except for that much. So I've got a little bit extra there. A couple tips in there. Not that I'll really use them, I might try that blue one out. But time will tell. A couple extra fittings for the hitch quick connect for the hose but I don't think I'll actually use that at all and then I have some surfactant now for roof cleaning the batch that I mixed I mixed up 26 gallons and I put in about an ounce per gallon so it came out to about 26 ounces and I probably could have easily doubled that so, what is 26 times to 52? Yeah, 52 ounces, somewhere in there, you'd probably be a bit more sudsy. Might try that on the next one. And I'll show you. I like this North Star pump. It's got the switch right there on the side of it. I just got a... Uh, this is for like charging your battery this little little cable here and then you can see even after I've sprayed so far today I've probably sprayed oh probably 50 to 60 gallons and let's see what we got here And we've got 12.5758. Make me a liar. <laughs> so 12.6 would be a fully charged battery. So we've barely, barely even touched this battery. This is actually the old battery that went dead on my wife's truck about twice. So I figured better to go ahead and replace it. And it's worth 12 bucks for a core or it seems to work just fine for this so don't go crazy thinking you need a uh, high dollar deep cycle marine battery because you can really do it low budget and don't need uh, don't need quite so much juice as you might think but the rig worked out beautifully there's a few changes I would well I wouldn't say changes but there's a few things I would add to it and we just use the old school Gilmore, which this one's a knockoff. This one's a Yardsmith. 
but it worked just fine got the El Cheapo green Walmart hose like 11 bucks for 50 feet nothing special here and let's run back here you can see that's where it comes out of the box comes in through the bottom of the tanks here up the hoses valves bada boom bada bing comes in here through the pump and out to the hose so overall the system worked out beautifully today I cannot complain um, let me show you let me show you we'll go dark here for a minute and I'll uh, see see what I can find over here to show you nothing more exciting than a dark video <laughs> all right here's what I used for surfactant Purex and you can see it's the natural you know less fragrance or maybe no fragrance or maybe just a little bit who knows it does have a little bit of a smell but I'm gonna do another video and kind of kind of fill people in on some of the things about surfactants this is one of the few that does not say there's two different types I can't remember the exact name of it but it's like anime anemic and the other one starts with an N, I want to say. But anyways, it's the charge of it. And if you put the one that starts with an A in your bleach, it will actually decrease the potency of your bleach. So, a lot of these have both kinds. And maybe, uh, maybe I'll show you that. We'll see. Let's see. How do you guys like the light in your eyes? Alright, maybe not so much. All right, let's see what else we got over here we can get into. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, dun, dun. Ah, who goes there? All right, let's see. This was another option. LA is totally awesome laundry detergent, fresh scent. And actually seen somebody else was using this version, um, the blue bottle, different, uh, different scent. I'll show you here, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, right here you can see anionic and non-ionic. Okay, the anionic is going to lower the potency of your bleach. The non-ionic you're going to be a lot better off. Let's just put it like that. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you couldn't use it, but I'm just saying that you can use less chemical that you pay for if you're not lowering the strength of it. So that'll show you that has uh, both of them in it. And I've seen some other people like to use the old Fabuloso. Now that's a little thin for my liking I'd rather rather thick but uh, let's see here yada 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 doesn't say anything to scare me away from mixing it with bleach but definitely uh, wouldn't be my first choice put it like that and I think that's about it but yeah, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't go mixing just anything with the old bleach. Not necessarily the best idea. But the uh, Pure X did work out really nice. I will definitely up my dose on it next time. And uh, you can see it's much much thicker. So it worked out beautiful. It actually smelled good too. So I wouldn't uh, wouldn't be scared to use some more of it. But that's just a little bit about the soft wash setup and how it went today. First day out actually making some money. And uh, went quite well. Went quite well. 
All right, guys. Be good or be good at it.